Hello everyone and welcome back to Unpacking, where we are carrying on the very interesting story of the lives of people that we've never actually met, but we've actually unpacked all of their personal goods again and again over the years. And this time I'm really excited because it seems like we have found love again! And this time the person we're in love with has moved in with us and I think that she's getting really comfortable. She has the cutest clothes that I am so jealous over. And I still love how there was enough room for both of us here and all of the cute things we kept unpacking from her boxes including green leafy towels and so many plants this woman has brought so many plants into our lives so of course i am absolutely going to approve of this but let's see i think we're almost done going through oh no we had all of the makeup oh my gosh i don't have any makeup in real life so this kind of stunned me but eventually we did manage to find places to put all of it and we made everything nice and cozy even her cthulhu head that she wanted to go ahead and like put out as a decoration we found a place for and voila we made a home together which is just so amazing to me can you believe that I cannot believe how intimate this game feels, even though we have never once seen the people whose lives we are working with. And it makes me really wonder, like, if we could sit down and unpack a box of treasures together, what would you guys have in your box? And what would I have in mine? And what would we think about each other through the things that we surround ourselves with? I think that's why I'm so careful with the things that I try to bring into my life. And I'm so against just like going out and consuming a lot of things and just buying something to buy something because the things we bring into our life i read a book once that said that everything you own and everything that you care for and everything in your home has a thread of your energy attached to it and it, i just have never forgotten the impact that that line had on me because it does you're responsible or attached to everything that you have in your home and i don't know this this is just amazing i'm really touched at how emotional this whole experience has made me. So with that said, we're in love. The chicken family has grown. We now have so many plants and I'm hoping that things are going to develop even more with the new love of our life. All right, so we've moved forward four years. <gasps> are we moving into a house together? A big house? Oh my gosh, okay, quick, 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 quick. Um, we're, <gasps> we have two stories now. Oh, wait, 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 hold up. You guys, there's a baby nursery. Oh my gosh, what? Okay, let's go into the bedroom. I have to see. I mean, there's a good sign that there's a whole bunch of plants here. I'm, I'm definitely taking that as like a positive sign that, you know, we, we should still be sharing our life with somebody, I hope, who likes plants. But did we just pick up that habit from her and now we just have a bunch of plants because, because of her? All right, we've got to empty this out. That's, these are mine. Okay, there's pictures. Okay, that's my chimkin. More pictures. These all look like my things. Okay, wait, 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 wait. This little note card was her thing where like maybe she writes down her dreams or something. I really hope we didn't just like keep that from her. Oh no, look, 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 look. Okay, so those are her headphones. <gasps> yes, her little purse is here. Okay, there's hope. There's hope, friends. And her walkie talkies and her incense stick. So unless we got really creepy and just stole all of her stuff. I think that we actually still have a life together, you guys. <gasps> Look, and we have a tiny little chimkin. Okay. All right, I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful. Mama Chimkin is here. But am I the Mama Chimkin now? Have I become the Mama Chimkin? <laughs> oh my gosh, and it looks like things are really out of place. I think we must have been pretty rushed packing. All right, let's put that over there. Dum dum alarm. Can I hide it back there? I think I can hide it back there and we can just pretend the alarm doesn't exist. Oh, there's two yoga mats now. We do yoga together. Oh my gosh. Okay, that makes me really happy. All right, all of our little miscellaneous things. The chicken family has seriously grown. Oh, look. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I think we do yoga together with our two little boom boxes we've got. Okay, I think this is maybe my journal now we'll have to see all right all right let's see if i can make some room for some of these things there's a lot of pictures but i think that we've mixed our life together really nicely so let's try putting these like this i can hide the little like warmer thingy under the bed as usual um we'll probably want both the lamps in our room 
and then maybe both the journals and I probably want my little tea light here, can I move this here maybe I can move the little tea light thing well it's it'd be really peaceful to be able to like use it there we go we'll have the little tea light thing there extra tea light down there and I feel like we'd want to have her incense out too so that she could use it okay incense can go down there oh my gosh but we are we do we really have a kid now okay I'm kind of excited I, I sort of want to save the kids room as like one of the last rooms oh my goodness <laughs> all right so let's see we've got a bunch of shoes I think we do have a life together you guys look two umbrellas okay good wow this is kind of emotional just think about like unpacking everything because we're a family oh and we've got like i think we packed in a literal rush because <laughs> we just have such a random array of things oh look yeah like our little decorations i'm pretty sure oh look there's like a little yep 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 that's the little farmhouse from when we traveled um, and when we went to Holland, oh, I think we went to India. Nice. All right, more shoes. <laughs> Here's from when we went to France. Okay, maybe I can kind of arrange these. They're just, there we go. We'll just organize them like that for now. All right, well, let's take care of the shoes. We can manage those at least. I probably should be putting some of these shoes into the closet, but still. Chips and I just keep all of our shoes in the shoe. We have a shoe pile, kind of like this, and a sock. I keep the socks next to the shoes, actually. Here's a Siri hack in case you guys need it in your life. But I got a box that we put all of the socks in for both of us. Like, it's just a little box. It goes next to all the shoes, and the socks live next to the shoes. And I think that that is brilliance, personally. All right, there we go. Let's go take this to the bathroom, or at least, oh, we have two bathrooms now, nice! I don't think we need to take the like robe into the half bath. All right, we'll put it up here. Yeah, oh, look at our little plant, yay! I hope it can survive in here. Little plant, I hope, you, I hope you're gonna have enough light in the bathroom. Yay, there's two toothbrushes still! <laughs> okay, that's a good sign. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look, and there's her her little um, mug for that band that she really loves. And then so much makeup. I am not criticizing. It's just a foreign concept to me because I've never worn makeup. I'm not against it. it. Just I never got into it. And then trying to find it vegan and like ethical got complicated. And it's just a foreign technology to me. All right, here we go. We'll put this in. And we're still, I, I think we still suffer from the back pains of maybe being an illustrator or whatever our job is. All right, that's for us. The bathroom's kind of like the boring thing to unpack, but we've got to do it. There we go. There we go. Oh, the Eiffel Tower! It's supposed to go downstairs. <laughs> no, I went into the wrong room. Oh my gosh, there's so many rooms. Our house is huge now. There, look at this. Oh, I love having the little mementos from all of the travels. That makes me super nostalgic for all of the mementos that Chips and I have gotten from all the traveling we have done too. Can I open this window? Because that would be really precious. I love, oh look, we have, oh, we have some potpourri. We're fancy, like my aunt who had a bunch of potpourri for her, um, for her bathroom. All right, move this here for now. Some air freshener. See, little hand towel. Cute little trash can. Oh, there's our little half bath. It's adorable. Oh my gosh. How about the office? The office is really nice. I love the plants. This person brought joy into our lives because they brought in a ton of plants. All right. We have the monitor. That is so funny that the monitor was not packed away with everything else because that's exactly how it works. Hey, this is the same desk that I have. What on earth is going on? This is literally the same like standing desk that I have where it converts to sit or stand with these little buttons and the little arrows. Okay, that's surreal. All right, we've got our little post-it notes. I wonder if this is where we're gonna stay forever. Like, there's our old laptop. Oh geez, I forgot about all the books. 
I'm really happy that we're well, well read, but I totally forgot about all the books. Oh, there's a ribbon! Cute! And the little, oh, ooh! Apparently we've been winning some industry award, or like awards. I guess my YouTube plaque could technically count as that if I was like comparing my life to these guys, but gotta think about that. All right, type. I think I can store more things if I stick them in like this. We'll have to see how many books I need to dig my way through. All right, little organizers. My note, my little notebooks. Those seem important. And then, oh, hey, my eternal organizer for all of the important, like important paperwork. I'm glad to see that it has come with us. All right, I don't believe in clocks, but I'll go ahead and put it up. How cute to see like all of the little knickknacks that it follows. That's a baby's book, oh my gosh. Okay, so we have some children's books that we'll need to go ahead and put into, oh no, those must be our books. I thought they were books for our kid, but these, look at that little pig, because we designed, oh my gosh, we made our own books. Yeah, that's what this is. This is our own merch that we have created. Because look, here's how our business cards have changed. I love unraveling the mystery of this. Look, oh, <laughs> it's our books that we published. That's so cute. I love the little mouse. It's been so rewarding just seeing slowly but surely the upgrade of our life through through thick and thin and trials and tribulations um, into this, into something really beautiful and amazing. I like it. It gives me a lot of hope. All right, gotta put this little router guy somewhere too. You go over there for now. All right, what else do we have? We have the knocky knocky thing and we have more journals. And there's some more designs for more characters. What a fun way to learn about somebody. Oh, wrist brace, that's what I thought because we're an illustrator. The back pain in the wrist brace. <laughs> oh no, oh, I love this. How has this just been like the most enchanting story ever, you know? All right, let's see. Printer paper, more journals, supplies that we can go ahead and put away. Ah, oh, more cute little, okay, more cute little papers that we need to put up. More journals. And the eternal box of cords, of course. It's kind of fun to unbox the um, office first for me, but that's because, I don't know, I, I just get really inspired by the, the creation that one can still do in their life. I don't want to sound like I'm obsessed with work. And I definitely don't want to seem like I'm obsessed with achievements. I don't think you need to get these things on the wall in order to have a rich and fulfilling life. I just fall in love with watching people be able to really live a happy and abundant life. There's something so appealing to me about that. Watching people thrive with what brings them joy. Like, I, I just, it, it, it's, it's kind of like my thing that I love. All right, so here's all the stuff that we've unpacked in here for now. Definitely need to organize it a little better, but I can't help but be kind of curious about what the rest of the house is looking like. We have a big backyard for the garden. Oh, yay. All right, let's unpack everything. That's one of the really fun parts. All right, that's definitely Five Nights at Freddy's. That's so funny. My niece would be so happy. She loves horror games like that, which is deeply ironic because if you look at my channel, and you look at all the games I like to play, and then it's like, what does Serious Niece like to play? It's like, hardcore horror. Uh, maybe I'm just not with it. Alright, let's see, we've got some more DVDs. Oh, our little DS! I still have mine, too. My little brother, one of my little brothers, actually saved up money from his part-time job to get me a DS back when they were brand new. And it kind of expensive and he was just a young teenager when he did this but he saved up enough to get me a DS because he wanted to play Pokemon together which I think is just a precious and adorable all right let's see we've got more things to put away oh, the, the coffee kettle or like the tea kettle definitely doesn't go in here here are these cute little flower things I wonder how many other things might have little hidden Easter eggs where you can pick them up and open them like that beautiful bird picture Hey, it's our Wii U! <laughs> Chips and I still have ours too. Let's see, our game consoles. We'll make this all nice and tidy. We got a nice TV, holy cow. 
There we go. And then we'll put that down. And it's not, like, again, it's not about, like, having nice things or not having nice things. I want to be very clear about that. I don't think pursuing, like, consumer culture or materialism is ever something I'm going to encourage. But we do have things in our lives, and those things do have meaning for us. The cane is very interesting to me. I wonder if we have, like, a bit of a back uh, disability of some kind. Here, we'll have him be the guardian of the video games. Because that would explain a lot, actually. Let's see. Like, why we... Well, maybe we just lucked out with a work-from-home position early on. Alright, we'll put these away. So many games! I don't know, but whenever you guys move, is that, like, one of your favorite things to do, too? Because I know there's a lot of games here, but to be honest, when Chips and I move, I always feel like that's one of the fun things to sort through. Because you get to kind of remember, like, oh, I love playing this game, or I love playing that game. Yeah, there we go. And then we've got more board games that we can go ahead and put away. Well, we're gonna make this fun. We're gonna have a good time. I love seeing what our home has to, like, offer. Alright, what else is in here? I think we were in a little bit of a rush because of the kid, uh, in order to get all of this, like, unpacked in time. Alright, so there's the front entrance. At least we've made that one look nice. We still have the kitchen to do. We still have, like, uh, the closet and the bathroom. But you know what I want to kind of poke at? At the very end, there's a changing table. You guys. Oh my goodness, let's see. Let's see how this is gonna play out. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> we gave our pigu, our little pigu, who we ended up having as a little kid, like in her childhood. We ended up making it the central theme of what ended up becoming our success. Dang it, I'm seeing way too many parallels in my own life to this because like the reason that I, in my office, have a thing on my wall that says, hey, congratulations for surpassing 100,000 subscribers from YouTube, and it's a little silver thingy on my wall, is because of my childhood favorite games and my childhood toys, which was Sims for me. And then here we are with this little pigu that we have turned into like our success in life that has allowed us to build up a home to raise a family in. Ah, I'm so emotional right now. Oh my goodness, look at the little mobile with the little giraffe. Okay, man. And then now we're pulling out the little kid clothes. Oh dear, oh my. Oh no. This is why all the feels, all the feels. All right, what do we have? Oh my goodness, and it's a her tiger. Is that what we're working on next down in the office for the other sketch? No, that's a chicken, a rooster, but there is a picture, I think, of the tiger. There's another pig, oh my gosh, that's so cute. So here's like our sketches where we're getting ready to design something new. Oh, I can't believe how, how how touching this is. Like, what? I wonder if this is the last house we're going to unbox, too. Oh, there's a little pacifier. Or are we going to... Is there going to be more? Are we going to be able to, like, work more with our, our family? Maybe? Maybe not. Maybe this is just the, the happy contentment at the end of the story. Heck. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, all the little things you need for kidlets, diapers and wipes. I've helped to raise many kids um, because I used to be an assistant foster parent like and a nanny. So I have definitely done my due diligence when it comes to knowing how to wake up at two in the morning for crying babies and helping them through things. There we go. So none of these things are unfamiliar to me, even though I don't have or will not have children of my own. But I was there for years for all the ones who needed someone. All the little ones who didn't have somebody for themselves. I learned that there is a place. There is a place and there is a need. And I was happy to fulfill it. Oh my goodness. There we go. Look at all these toys. Lots of rattles. This is a very loved child. <laughs> Not that like you can tell just from things. But oh there we go. Nice safety things. You guys. There's a baby! 
<laughs> There's a baby and we have a huge house that we need to like work our way through <laughs> to organize and who knows where some of our things are hiding. All right, we're gonna continue sorting through all of this and unpacking our lives and unpacking the happy, happy mystery of uh, what we have waiting for us next time. So if you guys could do please leave a like for the beautiful story unfolding in unpacking. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.